it's day two of our lockdown and I've got ants in my pants. I'm tired of lying down on the couch. I'm tired of sitting behind the computer. Figured, why not start this project today? For many of us, the official lockdown may have begun, but we've been committed to social distancing for many weeks before. And with some personal strife, I'd found myself spending a lot of time isolating myself from the world and generally getting into a depressive haze. It took me weeks to finally get started on this project and I hope that this is just the beginning of all the exciting new stuff to come. It has been really good to take time to get out and accomplish something physical, to see a transformation in front of my own eyes. It's a therapy that is hard to explain. And with the restriction on travel making it challenging to make new videos, it is empowering to do something that would enable me to keep filming and getting to stay in touch with all my viewers. Not only did I manage to get paint pretty much everywhere, I also managed to get paint on my camera, but I think it's looking pretty good. Uh, nice clean background, works nicely with the roof, and seeing as you're not going to see the floor, the bricks don't really matter, um, but so far so good. What I want to do now is I'm going to put a counter across the wall, set up some lights, and then you guys can kind of see how the videos are going to look going forward. The one thing I'm very good at, and that is accumulating a lot of mess. As you can see, there's just tons of stuff just, just piled. <laughs> I'm not very good at this life thing, but you know what? That's why I'm, I want to divide the space up. I want this office to be where I can sit and work and edit my videos. And downstairs is where all the filming equipment is and kind of separate those two little aspects of life a little bit. Especially now that we're spending a lot of time indoors, I think it's good to have different places to work and to do different things. So you don't feel so like stuck in one little place all day long. Tearing apart my comfort zone is certainly going to be interesting. I spend most days at this desk. So let's see how this change goes. Hopefully, it'll be for better. Here comes the problem solving, because this desk was designed for a room in my old flat. And then I kind of just made it work in my new flat. And now, putting it in the garage, in a space that wasn't really designed for, I've got to just get a bit creative, because all the edges are routed and I've cut holes for cables and, you know, for each of those rooms. So, it's a bit of a Swiss cheese board at the moment. But, you know what? Just got to make do. Now, to measure the height, get everything sorted, drill the holes, put it all together and yeah, start filling it up. Today, it's nice and early in the morning, we're gonna pick up with the rest of this studio build. We're gonna mount the table onto the wall. We've got a box that we're gonna mount up on the wall, like a shelf box. And yeah, try kitting it out a little bit today and moving stuff into position. So I think it's about time to just kind of wrap the whole thing up now. It was essential to bring my dad in to help with the next phase, because otherwise the wall would end up looking like a pinboard and he's definitely a measure twice, drill once type of person. So I knew he would do it perfectly. And you know what? It's nice to spend a bit of quality time with him, helping him out and being his apprentice for the day. Alrighty. Lunch break's over. Got a cup of coffee. Maybe I can start setting up some video lights and getting things moving forward so I can start testing the setup and seeing you know what angles are going to work best, where I'm going to position stuff, all of that and get this frame looking good. I would have loved to be able to pop down to the shops to buy more stuff for this project, especially some more lighting equipment. But the challenge of this task is about making the most of what we have and just trying to make it work. Now it's essential to try and eliminate any additional light entering the garage so I can make it a controllable environment, letting my lights do all the work. The next step is playing around and tweaking the lights, 
camera angles to try and get it looking good. And I also want to take a bit of time to test out the sound quality to see how much work I'll need to do in the future to try and control the echo. So I just spent some time playing around, testing things out and seeing how the space works. Alright, I've lost touch of time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know which day it is now. I know that it is Tuesday. Um, and yeah, we're gonna make the final kind of pushes today. Put up the box there. I've got my map of South Africa here. And I've got to decide on a spot. Because uh, it's laminated, I need to find a, an angle that it doesn't uh, reflect all the lights and stuff. So that's gonna be a challenge for today. So that'll tell me whether it's gonna go on that wall or that wall. And then that's gonna tell me how high the, the shelf is gonna to have to go. Um, but yeah, I'm keen to get this going. You must be thinking, five days to complete a simple project like this. Well, the truth is that by now we were getting into the habit of the lockdown. And there were just so many things to do around the house that we just added this to the budget. And we just gave ourselves a couple of hours each day to do a bit of work on it. And eventually, we managed to finish it up, enjoying the process instead of rushing through it. It's kind of coming together really nicely now. We've got the map up, we've got the shelf up, this wall, I'm going to kind of play around and then what I'm going to do is kind of leave the ground for all the heavy stuff like fridges and dual battery systems and tents and big bulky things like self-inflatable mattresses, and, you know, chairs, stuff like that. And then the counters are going to find their, their uses. I think this counter will probably end up getting painted. This is going to go through countless different renditions, working with the lighting, working with you know, this kind of space around me until I get it perfect. But underneath here, I want to put some little hooks and things that I can hang, uh, cups, pots, things like that. So it's just a quick grab and go, but I'll try and store as much as possible in, you know, the wolf packs and ammo boxes and stuff like that. I'll try and keep this space as neat as possible. But I think it's come along quite nicely and I'm quite happy with the results. I think this is going to be a good space for me to be able to work and film and it just gives me a backup space to be able to communicate with you guys and you know make content and, and share that with you. So yeah, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching this weird episode and I uh, hope you guys are going to hang around for the next couple weeks and see what I come up with. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. And I will see you on the next episode of Roma of Landing. Bye for now. The world is going through a troublesome time at the moment. And I just want to do my part at helping people look forward to the day when this all passes. And we can get back out there doing what we love. I'll see you soon.